We're here for your amazing Tuesday workout. I apologize for my slanted handwriting, but expect Thursday's handwriting to be just a little bit better. So we're gonna do an AMRAP 25 today. It's gonna be a nice long one. You're just constantly moving, trying to chip away movement by movement for those 25 minutes. We're gonna start with 20 dumbbell pain cleans. Then we're gonna switch over to 20 alternating dumbbell overhead lunges followed by 40 sit-ups in 60 double ups. Okay, so we're looking to get through about four or five rounds on this. So thinking about five minutes a round or so, maybe six minutes a round, and we're continuously moving for the full 25 minutes without big breaks in between. This is a workout we want to just keep a really smooth pace and be consistent throughout the full 25 minutes. So for those dumbbell hand cleans, that's gonna be 10 per arm. What that's gonna look like, and this is not gonna be alternating, what that's gonna look like is this. I'm gonna start with that dumbbell between my feet pointing in the same direction as my feet. I'm gonna make sure my back is flat as a board when I'm picking it up, and I'm gonna start by locking out my hips. From here, I'm gonna load up my hips, almost like a kettlebell swing, where I'm gonna push my butt back, keep my chest up, and let that dumbbell fall right between my knees. From here, I'm gonna aggressively pop my hips open and shrug my shoulder. I'm gonna get up on my toes a little bit. And as that dumbbell's floating up, I'm gonna rotate underneath, bringing my elbow up and slightly out, letting the back head of that dumbbell land on my shoulder. I'm gonna stand all the way up and then repeat that pattern. So as that dumbbell comes down, I'm gonna get ready to absorb that weight and load up for that next rep pop and drop under so full a few full speed reps will look like this notice i'm not swinging it way out like that i want to keep it tight to that body with my nice shrug so once you do 10 on one arm you're going to switch to 10 on the other if you have a weight that's relatively lighter maybe you're trying to move faster try to do this as a muscle clean where after you pop you're just keeping those legs locked down and rotating that elbow through. Okay, so it kind of looked like this. It might feel a little bit like a kettlebell swing, which is okay. If you feel your arm getting tired, get into that dropping motion like we were talking about a second ago. So 10 each arm there. Then, actually, let me keep this in my hand. We have 10 alternating dumbbell overhead lunges. If you have a bad shoulder, you have an injury, or you have some mobility restriction, or you can't fully lock that arm out the whole time, feel free to just hold a goblet position or just stay in that front rack position, kind of like you were ending on with the clean, so you can stay here. But ideally, we want to try to get to that overhead position to challenge ourselves a little. With that dumbbell overhead, I am going to take a step out with my right foot, let my back knee gently touch, then I'm gonna stand up and alternate to the other side. Once I've gotten 10 lunges in total, I'm then gonna switch hands to the other arm, continue to press out. I'm focusing on a few things here. One, make sure my wrist is stacked over my shoulder, pressed out as hard as I can. And two, make sure my ribs stay locked down so I'm nice and solid throughout. So that would be your 20 in total, all saying dumbbell lunges. 40 sit-ups. We got two different options for you, the classics. Number one is the butterfly. Feet together, toes pointing away, knees pointing out. I'm gonna keep my lower back down on the floor as I reach back and then throw my hands up to grab my toes. That's option one. Option two, same idea, except now I'm gonna put my feet flat, knees up to the sky. I'm gonna reach back, lower back stays down as I throw my hands up. My shoulders are going to hit my knees. When you're doing these today, the 40 sit-ups, I want you to try and get these either unbroken or only breaking up once. So I always like to get a little bit past that halfway point. Maybe instead of just getting halfway to 20, try to get to 22 or 23. So your second set isn't as many reps as the first. Lastly, 60 double unders. I have my imaginary jump rope. Every time we go in the air, I'm doing two rotations under my feet. If you have a rope and you have room to do these jump ropes, we want these 60 double unders done in a little under a minute. We don't want to be going too far over a minute, all right? If you have a rope but can't do double unders, we're gonna change that number to 90 reps. Instead, again, don't wanna be exceeding a minute for your single unders. If you don't have a rope at all, you can do lateral hops right over this dumbbell where you do not have to go past 60, you're gonna go right to 60 reps, and it's just little hops back and forth. So I'm just kind of skiing back and forth like that. If maybe you wanna challenge yourself a little more, 
you can point this dumbbell up to the sky and cut the reps in half. So you could do 30 if you wanted to do this and give yourself a little bit more of a challenge. So I need to now get a big jump up, tuck those knees, and then land and absorb that weight. So those are our four movements, 20 dumbbell hand cleans, 20 alternating dumbbell overhead lunges, 40 sit-ups, and then 60 double unders or whatever modification you need to do. Try to get through five rounds of this today. Good luck on your terrific Tuesday.